how to run an effective Agile retrospective using the carve run exercise. As you know, one of the most important phases of the Agile retrospective is the set the stage phase. Here, you need to have a powerful exercise that will enable the team to relax and feel open to discuss the problems that happen during the sprint. And the car brand exercise is a fantastic exercise to help you with this goal. With this exercise, you can expect something very interesting. You can expect that each team member express themselves in a very open way without having to say too much. This exercise is very good, for example, for teams that are very new to each other or there is some small conflict ongoing or any other situation where the people do not feel comfortable to express a lot of what's going on during the sprint. So if you have one of these situations and you want a simple exercise to help the team to start open up, this is a great exercise. So how do you do this? Very simple. When the team comes to the retrospective, explain the basic stuff of all the retrospective, explain the prime directive and so on. And then the exercise is very basic. You ask to each team member to tell you a brand of a car. Explain them that each brand means how the sprint went. So for example, if the sprint went very, very, very well, the guys can say, for example, the sprint looked like Ferrari. If the sprint went very, very, very slow, you guys can say we were like a Lada, a Fiat, whatever. And then you can use all this information to actually start discussions and start to figure out ways to improve the situation. Ask people to share their opinions. You'll see something interesting happening. You'll see people that will have some really interesting high potential cars and some other people that will have really not so high performance cars. And this is very interesting because you will immediately will start to understand that different people see and have different expectations. And this is already a really, really high opener for you and for the team. Because for example, someone in the team might think the sprint went very well and some other people in the team will say that the sprint did not go that well and that will immediately trigger some really really interesting discussions that you want to capture you want to make sure that everyone starts to talk with each other and everyone starts to share their point of view in order to create a fantastic team the next step is very simple you just need to ask the team what would they need to do differently if the sprint would look like a ferrari this is very interesting because a lot of people and a lot of Scrum Masters focus the team onto the problems. They always drive them to the problems and not to the solutions. And then it's very easy for the team to go in spiral, going down and down and down, always focus on the problems. Don't do that. Try to ask the team to think about the perfect solution. So in this case, ask them to think about a Ferrari. After that, ask them, what would you need to do differently in order for us to be like a Ferrari? start to brainstorm the problems or the solutions in this case, ask them to talk with each other, get ideas. After that, select three topics that you want to improve. Don't select more than that because then it's just too much change. Select those three topics, select the solution, select the actions that you want to take, grab those topics and implement them during the next sprint. You see that the solutions will be much more interesting than focus on the problems. And if you do that, I'm pretty sure that you will little by little start to get better and better.